Hey everybody, Lonnie Law, Lead Technician with Stellar Technologies. Today I'm going to tell you about Dell's M600 blade that we've got in stock right now. Uh, the M600 is actually a 10th generation Power Edge blade server. This is a series back from what we're at right now, which is the 11th generation, but it's a fully functional blade that's it's going to be fully capable to do anything that you're going to throw at it pretty much right now. So, because of that, we're looking at a great blade at a great price. This particular blade actually runs the Intel 5000P chipset. Uh, it's very similar to what the third generation of the 9 series servers did, the, uh, like the, the 1950 Gen 3, 2950 Gen 3 for example. These boxes are capable of taking the Intel Xeon 5100 or 5200 series dual core processors or the 5300 or 5400 series quad core processors. Okay, as well as all that processing power, we've got eight fully buffered DIMM slots right here. Uh, we're going to take up to 64 gig of DDR2 RAM. So we've got a lot of RAM we can throw into these things. If we load a whole M1000E chassis up with these, we've got 16 of them we can put in. So we're looking great on, on throughput or if you're doing any kind of clustering, anything like that. Also great virtualization boxes. Um, these also come with uh, we've got two two and a half inch hard drive slots. We can put SAS, SATA, or SSDs in here. The SAS, of course, we can do, we can do 10 or 15K. SATAs are going to be the uh, low RPM 54 or the uh, 7200 RPM uh, drives. Okay, to power these, the, the hard drives, we've got the option for using the SAS 6IR or the CERC 6I uh, cache card. In these, in these boxes. It's actually a, a slim down version or a smaller condensed version of the, uh, the cards that we would see in the normal Power Edge play, or the Power Edge servers. It's got a small version that, that pops right in here in the motherboard. Whole tray slides out, very easy to work with if you've ever got to do any maintenance or anything on these boxes. So that's where the blade card goes. Pops right back in very easily. Just like that. Okay, on these servers, we've got two Broadcom 5708 NICs that we can run in our uh, in our fabric A of the M1000E chassis. So we've got gigabit NICs built into the motherboard on this one. We've got the the slots to go into our, our B and C fabric, where we can add uh, copper, fiber, or mezzanine cards to go in here. Some of the copper options we've got. We've got 5708 uh, dual port or 5709 dual or quad port NICs that we can throw in here. We are also looking at the Intel 1000 ET dual or quad port NICs. For the fiber, we offer both four and eight gig varieties of, uh, of cards from both QLogic and Emulex. Um, the last thing that we do in the in the, the different fabrics right here, we can offer you a mezzanine card that will do InfiniBand connections. So we can do either the, the quad data rate, which is the 40 gig, or the dual data rate, which is the, the 20 gig connections through InfiniBand on the back. Of course, we gotta have the corresponding switches or pass-throughs in the back of the M1000E, but if you check out the M1000E video, you'll learn all about that. Okay, let's talk about management with these things. Like any Dell PowerEdge server, we can do the Open Manage, Dell Open Manage uh, Server Administrator, which is going to offer one to one monitoring of this blade. So, if we want to know how the, the CPUs are doing, how the RAM's doing, how the, the fans are, are operating, it'll tell us all that. We can use the Open Manage IT Assistant to manage a whole blade, uh, a whole chassis of these blades, or a whole data center full of Power Edge servers. Doesn't matter if they're blades or rack mount, we can manage them all with that uh, Open Manage IT assistant. As well, we've got built in DRACs in these, so you can connect up both through the CMC on the M1000E or you can set it up for a remote connection and do blade to blade. With the CMC and the management capabilities you've got, you're probably going to want to go CMC because then you can drill down to each blade as well. Depends on what you want to do though. Um, and like I mentioned, the, the CMC has a whole variety of management features which are also listed in our M1000E video. We're running a generation back, this is a 10th generation blade. Nonetheless, 
It is a fully capable blade, and it's going to be a great price if you check out our website. Uh, it's www.stikc.com. Hope to see you there. Thanks.